Hey, it's Casey O'Day along with Marty Hampton of Remax. I don't have to tell you that it's getting warmer out there, and that means that the real estate market also heating up here in the Triangle. So, with more homes on the market, more buyers looking, extra competition, how, if you're wanting to sell your home, do you go about it? Well, competition could scare some people, that's true, but but competition brings out buyers. And when you want to sell real estate, you want to sell your home when there's a lot of buyers in the market. And that gives you more opportunity. I, I put it in comparison to being at a real small strip mall that nobody ever goes to, and then maybe being at Crabtree Valley Mall or some really busy mall. Yeah. Well, uh, it, let me ask you this, because uh, you know, Raleigh and uh, I guess the Triangle in general, uh, we, we've seen a boom. A lot of folks moving in. It's a market not like other markets, really, here in the South. So what, what sets us apart? Well, we've got a very educated populace. I, at the last I checked, I think we have the highest Ph.D. per capita of any place other than Silicon Valley. So we've got educated people. They're very tech-savvy, uh, smart people coming here from all over the world, really. Yeah, the struggle. I think the struggle for most people is they say, okay, look, there's a pretty good real estate market, so I'm going to be able to sell my home. But what you've done time and time again, and you have the numbers to uh, back this up because I've asked you about it, you sell the home faster and for more money. We sell the home in about half the days on the market that the average agent does, and I think that's around 46 right now. And then our price, list price versus sale price, I think is right at 99%. But we actually sell 33% of our listings for over list price because of the special marketing that we do. Okay, and I'm going to get into that marketing here in Mm -hmm. just a moment, but everyone wants to be loved, right? Oh, yeah. So uh, it's great if one person makes you an offer, it's so much better. If they're fighting over you, and that's also where you excel. It is. It is. And and I think one of the biggest misconceptions in my business is when the market is kind of brisk and maybe you're lucky and you sell your house fairly quickly. The misconception is, is that you've got the best deal. And, and my whole theory after 30 years in real estate is you don't have the best deal unless you have every single buyer focused on your house and every single agent with a buyer focused on your house. And then you have the best that the market can bring together. If you just your mother told you to shop around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and the internet uh, really allows us to do that, but it also allows us to see things like, well, wait a sec, that was on the market, now the home's off the market, now it's on the market, what's right. going on here? So uh, ahead of ever listing your home, you're doing something unique, and this is that pre-marketing strategy. Let's talk about your website, comingverysoon.com. Well, thank you. We, we love it. It's about a year old, and basically it's patterned after, I know you've seen motion pictures where you've seen the trailer come out, and it gets you really excited, and you've gone to see a movie perhaps, and as you walk down to see that movie, you've seen about four or five other movies advertised, and they say coming soon to the theater, and you say, my goodness, that one looks better than the one I'm going to you see. Bet. Yeah. <laughs> so with Americans, it's always what's ahead of you that's the best. It's what's around the corner. We're a positive kind of nation. So if my if I list with you and my home then is on the website, uh, talk about the process uh, real quick. So you're going to put it out there, but it's not on the market technically yet. You're wetting their whistle, so to speak. I am. It's, it's a little bit like eBay, uh, but, but here's the real thing. I mean, my job as a professional is not only to get the highest and best price. Part of getting you the highest and best price is to prepare you for the challenges you're going to face. And you are going to face challenges even in a brisk seller's market. So what we do, if I come to see you and you say, you know, Marty, I want to sell my house after my kids have gotten out of school because they're really messy and uh, I'd like to wait. What I'm going to advise is that we get some of the brisk market, even though you may not be ready to sell your home right now, we're going to pre-advertise your home. Maybe we'll just take a picture of the outside. We might suggest that you do a pre-inspection. We're definitely going to give you our staging consultation. And then when we pull all of that together, we'll start dripping in information onto our website and anyone that's come to visit your home is going to get that new information dripped to them as it becomes available. And all this translates into less time on the uh, less time listed and more money at the end. Well, you know what I like to say is uh, the first day on the market is your very best day as a home seller because you've got more power then when you're talking to an agent about your home or a buyer about your home than you do if you're talking to that having that same conversation about three or four months down the road well check this website out it's comingverysoon.com it is simply amazing marty hampton thanks for joining us